Hello, here is a Frigidaire damper from a Frigidaire refrigerator. I am testing this damper just by applying AC voltage to it. So I have AC off the wall socket going on to these two leads here. The big copper ones are for an internal switch. Don't use those. Use the smaller ones to power this thing. So as it's running, you'll see if it's working right, it'll continuously open and close. And you'll hear a click, which is a cam actuated switch. So it's closing. And then it'll click and open. And that means it's working right. And this thing is uh, kind of jumpy. See how it's not working right? So this one looks defective to a degree. But it's sort of working. So anyway, I bought a new one of these and I wanted to video the old one on what it was doing. Okay, and then we can take off the uh, lid and show the gearbox. But my theory on why this thing wouldn't work was that the styrofoam that is on this door was not compressing enough and it couldn't engage the gear so I think that's why this one didn't work I've taken it apart and changed the tolerances I don't have it screwed together right now so it has different tolerances but it doesn't look to be working perfectly it should be a very smooth arrangement so open there it goes so I'm not sure if that click is the cam anyway when you take this thing apart it looks like it self aligns and yeah, let's take it apart here let's unplug it to take it apart I've taken all the screws out and you gotta unclip these two little keepers and it'll come apart. That also comes off like that. So let's see if I can get it apart with one hand here without a screwdriver. Okay, yeah, got that off. So it's pretty instructive then to see it running with the lid off. There we go. Here's the inside. So this switch, I did clean the contacts on it, thinking that was a problem. The con this, these these two these contacts can be removed easily just by pulling them out and cleaning them up. But I don't think that was what was wrong. I think this thing has to come anyway. I can ponder all I want, but let's run the thing now and see what it will do. So we can run it run it with lid off. I think. Let's see how we can do that. So I'll put this back in here, like that. And now, let's see if it's gonna go. Can I do this? Yeah, okay, yeah. So to run this thing with the lid off, you'll note that this has grooves that keep that arm in place. So, what we want to do then is keep pressure on this arm, and then that's going to simulate the lid on, and we can watch the action of these gears. Let's try that. So, I'm going to plug it back in and quickly put my finger on that, cam on that cam. Okay, there it is. It's in. Put my hand down here. Nothing's turning because it's not connected. Okay, so connect it back up. Let's go with power here and 
power to here and connect it. Okay, and you'll see it turning now. So see how it goes down and it will catch this gear, but only if the door is closed. So see how it, it caught the gear. Okay, it's opening. Okay, there it goes, and now it opens up and stops. It will now close it. Closed. And now will it open again? Not really. See how it misses? See? So, I think if it was, it is opening now, but I think the fact that there's some play in this shaft here, but it doesn't look like there's any wear in this thing anywhere, so. I kept thinking that because this thing doesn't close all the way, that could be it, so if I close this down hard like this, and then now let's see, watch what it does. It will catch like, well, it seems like that first one misses, doesn't it? So it was the first tooth worn out. Maybe, huh? All right, so we can see it missing. Is it repairable? That tooth doesn't look worn out. Is the top tooth worn out there on the spinning wheel? Doesn't look like it. I, I'm still thinking that if I was able to get some styrofoam on this trap door shaved down, it might work again correctly. I don't know. Anyway, I bought a new one, but I wanted to diagnose the old one and see what to do with it. Okay, so my theory is that the motor is strong, works fine. My theory is this trap door here, the uh, it's not compressible. So when it comes down all the way, you'll see that if I take out the actuating bar and take off this door assembly now, and you try and close the door. Okay, look. Do you see how the door stays open with gravity? So the door should be closed with gravity. It has quite a resistance, okay? So the resistance is coming from the back end. Do you see the back there, line back there? I think if you would clean out, clean out back here, get some of this styrofoam and knock it off, and the door would flop closed like it should. So this should be closed by gravity like that. I think if you did that, this thing would work again. And so on the next demo, I will attempt to repair this thing. I'll shave off some uh, some uh, styrofoam and then the thing should flop closed and then we'll try it again. Okay, so that's it. Frigidaire um, assembly damper trying to fix it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.